What's good, DT Squad? It's your boy Damien. I got you with another reaction. Hey, today we got Fora, The Dream. Now, this song right here. Y'all isn't surprised by his music yet. This song will get you off your feet. It's basically one of my top three favorite songs by him. And it's, it's him about, like, if he died, like, okay, he's here right now. Nobody knows who he is. But if he died, the world will know who he is. And he'll be nominated for all kind of awards and people will start being like, oh, I listened to him. He was alive. Stuff like that, you know, fake stuff. Which, lately, for the past, I don't know, three years, when the artists die, somebody claim they listen to him and don't know nothing about him. Never heard this person until they died, you know? So this is what this song about. So let's get into it. Oh, before we get into it, make sure to turn your post notification on. Hit that like button. And subscribe, and let's get into it. Go. I have, if I look like I'm sick, it's because I've been, you know, my nose been running all day and I've been sneezing all day. I guess the allergies are acting up around me. So yeah, it's just my nose been running all day. Yeah, lately I feel like the devil's watching, he taunts me I've been having these thoughts in my head, they haunt me I've been trying to keep my focus, but I keep having this dream That I lost my life when I got shot in 2015 and I had this dream that I got shot in 2015. That's what that's what I was telling y'all about in the last song. He got shot when he was he got shot in 2015. And I think it went through his head and came out somewhere right here. Like it's still shocking that he's still alive. Yeah, I think he I think he still got the score up there somewhere. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Can't take your life for granted, no matter what. That's my life when I got shot in 2015. And I walk around my city and no one sees me. I used to think if I died, it would be so easy. Well, here I am. Feel like everyone left me. Now I'm back at home and everything feels so empty. Upstairs, I see the girl I love crying alone. I see the cuts on her wrist, she's scared of dying alone. I said her name. Went upstairs. See the girl I love crying alone. I looked at her wrist. She had cuts on her arms. Man, like. She wasn't happy. She wanted to kill herself. I'm, I'm guessing he didn't know nothing about it. Still now. That's tough. Depression goes a long way. Yes, I see the girl I love crying alone. I see the cuts on her wrist. She's scared of dying alone. I said her name softly. I swear that she looked right at me. That's when I tried to walk up to her, but she walked past me. Then at my funeral, they dressed in all black. Everybody mourning my death while I stand in the back. And I look at their faces, and their eyes are painted so clear. But the people that I call my friends they ain't even here. Crazy how quickly they forget. Instead of mourning my death, they fighting over who gets the house and who gets the check. He said, he looking around. People he called his friends wasn't even there. And he said, they fighting over who get the check or who get the house. Yeah, we got some deadbeats in this world. They all around you. just don't know they're there until it comes to that point in life that, you know, they show their true colors. 
But yeah, man, like I said, this has happened to a lot of artists when they die. Like XS and Tarsium. I, I didn't listen to them. I, guess, uh, I still don't listen to them. Uh, Juice World. I mean, he, he was, he had some uh, top 10 hits before he died. When he died, it, it just went skyrocketing. Uh, Pop Smoke, Pop Smoke. I didn't know nothing about this man until he died. Did I start listening to him after he died? No. Like I said, if if I didn't listen to you while you were alive, if I didn't know you when you was alive, I'm not going to listen to you while you that you had passed away. Because I don't, I don't work like that. You know, that's just, that just real fake to me. And another one, Nipsey. I, I listened to Nipsey before he died. Like back in 2000 and say 13, started listening to Nipsey a little bit, not much. But he had made a song back in the day with YG. That's how I started knowing about Nipsey. Started listening to Nipsey. And who else? There's a lot of there's a lot of artists out there that died, and people didn't know about them. But they started listening to them after they died. I mean, DMX, DMX just passed away, but recently, everybody knows who DMX is if you grew up in the 2000s, early 90s, or well, late 90s. He was big around that time. But, yeah. Let's get back into the video. Extend. I gave my heart to these people throughout these songs, and it's sad to know that none of it matters now that I'm gone. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. All my albums are on the charts and all the radios want to play me. I guess it took me to die for them to appreciate me. I see him posting. You know what I mean, bro? He said all my albums are on the charts. All my record labels are on at the top. I guess it took me to die for them to appreciate me. Hey man, I mean, when you hear, nobody cares. Unless you like, you know, Justin Bieber, Weekend, Drake, Taylor Swift. Can I go on? Some artists right there will stay relevant. In this generation, forever. Yeah, man. If somebody like, say, who, who am I thinking of right now? Say Neo. No, Neo ain't big right now. Neo ain't been big for a while. But the moment he passed away, oh my gosh. His, his song's gonna be skyrocketing. Hit up, you know, top 10 billboard charts. Like, it ain't nothing. People, you don't never hear nothing about Neo. He passed away today. You will hear nothing but Neo on the social media. I promise you. Just how the world works. They just, they just confuse. They think, they think uh, different. They back, they mind it backwards. Like, instead of them, uh, showing their respect to the people when they're alive, having their songs at the top of the charts when they're alive. They'd rather have the people's songs at the top of the charts when they pass away. I mean, it's, it's just stupid, in my opinion. I mean, it's like, say, when, when Nipsey died, oh, he, when he was here. Let me say it first. When he was here, I say probably two or three million people knew who he was in the whole globe. When he died, he I think he gained like three million new followers on Instagram or something like that. And it started gaining more and more and more. I was like, ain't this some bull? But like I said, 
for this world backwards. They don't know you when you alive, but when you die, they know who you are. Or they, they claim who you are. They really don't know who you are. But let's get back into it. And saying how much they miss me But back when I was alive in the press They ain't never hit me Before I died they all used to hate me But now it's funny They post pictures they all trying to claim me But never love me Spit on my name when I was alive I'll never forget It's sad that they wait till you die To show they respect But finally all the people who I looked up to Say how they respect me Saying they would have loved to Meet me in the past but it's too late for that now The way these people used to treat me They can't take it back now People tell stories about how we were close and how they would ride for me i know i'm gone but that energy they can't hide from me award shows and these people just tell stories how they was close to me but now that i'm gone that energy he can't hide from me hey man he's saying even though he's in heaven or hell that energy that they give him now he's not gonna sell it He's not. He's not appreciating. I wouldn't appreciate no about people that don't know me. Start mourning my death. Like if I was an artist, and my my say my records start going up, skyrocketing even way higher than what it was when I was live. Man, I'm not gonna appreciate that. If you wasn't listening to my music when I was alive, don't listen to it when I'm dead. Got me. That's how it is in my books. I know I'm gone, but that energy, they can't hide from me. Award shows and these red carpets the same. They make these tributes to my name, but back then they never invited me. Look, I'm at the Grammys. I wish I could tell my mom I made it. It only wow. took a hole in my head to be nominated. I look for love from these people, but all along, what they said was true. They don't love you until you gone for it. He said it only took a hole in his head to be nominated. He looked for love for these people. But when when he's gone, that show they appreciate. Come on, bro. I'ma stop preaching. Cause if I keep on preaching, this video is gonna be 30 minutes long. I'm not trying to my rat to no 30 minute video. <laughs> but hey, let's get back into it. I know y'all like I know y'all like when I preach, but I'm trying to get this dude. You know, so let's get back to it. But the truth is this life never goes the way you plan it. I guess the point of this song is don't take your life for granted. And appreciate people while they still here. And before you judge someone, take a look in the mirror. Because at any moment... Anything could happen, nothing is ever promised But you can just imagine how it would be So I give the type of love I want for me Cause one day it'll be my last And it won't just be a dream, I mean He said one day it'll be my last And it won't be a dream I mean, We all can go at one, one point One time No, we, got, we all can go in any minute I I could be reacting to this video and just go just like that. But I'm not planning to go this early. Still have a lot of goals to fulfill. You know? I'm not close to done on earth yet. What I'm trying to say. But right, let's get back into it. None of these people when they was alive or dead, except Nipsey. Like I said, I think 
I think I know this song should have got way more credit than it. He got. Hey, look at this. It's only at 1.6 million views. Like, uh, you telling me? I'm just saying. You know, the females that like twerking a lot of their music videos and talking nasty. They can make a video like that and get this many views in just an hour. Like, huh? This world just, this world just nasty, bro. The head is turned backwards. Then, like, say a guy, a guy can make a video with somebody famous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say Travis Scott and. Kanye West. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many views he gonna get. He probably get about three million one day. I'm saying they have a bunch of females in the video, half naked, and that that's gonna get the views. To which I'm saying it's it's stupid. That uh, these videos, these songs that is talking about meaningful stuff, not getting the views. Hell. Have these twerk songs get the views, you know what I'm saying? Inappropriate songs. That people will just want to listen to. Of the this generation. I'm telling you, this generation is the dumbest generation of all times. Many of people have said it, and I can see why they say this. Because we got some we got some slow people in this generation. And it's crazy to say. I'm in this generation. I'm from this generation, but I'm not. I'm not one of those people. You know what I'm saying? I don't listen to that bull crap. But hey, this is the end of the video, DT Squad. I hope y'all enjoyed it, like I did. Thank y'all for requesting this song for me. I know y'all been waiting for it. I've been patient. You know, trying to get to it fast as I can. Finally here. But we're gonna wrap this up. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell your folks about the channel. I'm Damien, and we're the DT Squad. I'm out. Lay out.